Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. All right, so here we are. Woo, dog sledded. We're in Sacre Coeur, Quebec, three, eight and a half hours north of Quebec City. Beautiful drive through the mountains, and we even took a ferry across the river. All right, let's see how we do this. All right, here we go. Ah, oh, yeah, we're getting busy now. This place is called La Femme Saint Etoile, and they recently developed a system where they take these old sled dogs and uh, they try to find them a home, especially after they turn nine, ten years old. At least they can spend the last uh, three, four years of their life. In a, in a nice comfortable home with a family that loves them. You take a dog uh, that's eight weeks old, you do not get to choose its behavior. When you take a dog that's already mature, then you look at it and you, you know it clicks, you know that he fits with you. And so if he's got three, four, five years left, that's three, four, five years that you won't change. It will still be the dog that you, uh, you fell in love with. For example, Maya here, because she's uh, retired, she still likes to run, she just doesn't have the physical fit to pull a sled or to work regularly. And that's kind of what we are looking for. Uh, these dogs, they can still run, they can still be alive. We're not giving away old dogs that can barely stand. We're giving dogs that just need a little more attention. Taking in these young dogs actually helps keep the females healthier. Now we figured a couple years ago that we did not need to breed that many pups. Many people will buy sled dogs thinking they can be good house dogs and they have too much energy so uh, when they come to us we simply shelter them. We take them as sled dogs, we train them to become one of us and that means that we don't have to, uh, to make our females have too many litters. As the weather warms up, that's when Derek gets to see who's ready to retire. A day like today when it's a little bit too hot is a good example. When they start being tired on a day like today's, it means that next year it will be too, hot, uh, too difficult for him. So that's a good sign that he is aging and that it's almost time uh, for him to retire. La Ferme has set limits to its kennel size. We have to be selective. More people offer us dogs than what we can take. Now we are looking mostly for males. I have space only for six females. La Ferme's kennel is a motley crew of mixed breeds. It's a clear sign that their adoption program is working. This one is a mix of uh, Husky and uh, Border Collie. But this one is a cross, Samoyed and Husky. Labrador, German Shepherd, and Husky. His name is uh, Vieux Tepi, Old Carpet. <laughs> oh, but you know, you look at him, he doesn't look like a sled dog. Yeah, he doesn't look, but he has a very strong will to pull. You put him on a sled and he's right, he's a terror. All he cares for is moving forward. I also got to meet the lucky dog of the week, Remy, who was just recently adopted. Some people near Shikutsimi came in and they uh, fell in love with Remy. He just cannot pull enough. Now, if we have him run for 10, 15, 20 kilometers in one day, uh, Remy becomes tired before it's over. And that's, uh, that's why now he'll have to lick people in the face all day long, and that's what's left for him. La Ferme Saint Etoile does great work with dogs, but they also have a fantastic wildlife rescue program. One of the most exciting things you can do <laughs> is get some playtime with Arctic wolves. Most importantly, La Ferme is a place where you can take a complete family vacation. So if you're ever in Quebec, visit La Ferme saint Etoile and support their fantastic animal rescue program. The animals will thank you, and once you experience Quebec's wild outdoors, your family will thank you.